On Nissan 1433 CE, Jesus Christ instituted the lost evening me and thereafter commanded his followers at Luke 22 verse 19 to keep doing this in remembrance of him. Once every year, Jehovah's Witnesses all over the world come together to commemorate the death of Jesus Christ. And so on this day, we're right here at the local congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses to witness firsthand the commemoration of the death of Jesus Christ. So, join us. Friends of Jehovah's Witnesses, we are warmly received as they arrived at the Kingdom Hall and other arranged locations to be part of the annual memorial of Jesus Christ. Speaking on the importance of the day, the speaker Gospel Igalo said about 2,000 years ago, Jesus instituted the last evening meal with a command for his followers to keep doing it in remembrance of him. He said the memory of Jesus' death is the most important event in the lives of any Christian because Jesus himself commanded that the day should be observed. He said last year a total of 20 million 461,767 persons attended the memorial all over the world, which he said was instituted by Jesus Christ to replace the Passover that was before then done once in a year. Giving reasons why humans needed a ransom sacrifice, the speaker said it is because Adam and Eve, the first human parent, disobeyed God and sold their offsprings to sin and death as recorded at Romans chapter 5 verse 12, saying that because of the love for humans, Jesus brought mankind back to God in accordance with what is written at Romans 5 verse 19, paving the way for those who exercise faith in the ransom sacrifice to have everlasting life. That night when Jesus instituted the memorial, he used to replace the celebration when they do that time, when they call the Passover. The Passover too, now once in a year, they do one. So you see, um, why the good say Jehovah people, they do one once in a year. But when I don't hear say person, they celebrate anniversary every two weeks. Now it makes sense in you know, this matter. I don't think say, I wish they now only Adam suffer for the sin. It will not make sense. Only he make him suffer for the sin when he commits. But now of course. You know why? Na simple reason. Na ye ye blood that they come. Na blood we know to get. Imperfect blood. Adam waits after he sin before he comes. Just see say what he do now. The speaker quoting from Revelation 14 verse 1 said 144,000 people we have the prospect to live in heaven as co-rulers with Jesus. Quoting from the book of Revelation chapter 7 verse 9 and 10, the speaker said a great crowd of people will live in a paradise under the messianic rulership of Jesus and his co-rulers of 144,000 selected ones. The heavens, now where the throne is, the king, Jesus Christ, where is the heavens? The in chiefs, 144,000, where they did? The heavens. And this place called finalized and we say they will rule over where? That is not surprising, so you know why? Because all of us, they are aware of how rulership they be. So the kingdom of God, the headquarters are where? The heavens. The chief and the king, they did heaven. And Revelation 5 they can say they go rule over the truth we say whether you will go there or not, now better life. Even people when you go they earth go live heavenly conditions. You know what I mean by that? Heavenly conditions. Things when not they happen for heaven, not go happen for earth. Like waiting, death, sickness, suffering. How that day Nigeria? You know go they there. Speakers at other locations, Don Kayawe and Timothy Aworegba, said the condition that humans will experience on earth under God's kingdom will be as those recorded at Isaiah 35, verse 5 and 6, where the Bible promised that deaf people will hear again, the blind will see, and even the lame will jump up like deer. Plenty, plenty people, no longer. So, you should understand why 20 million are 
attend last year. So not so indeed. This was the show say the value this sacrifice. Say the CM say important. And you go over. See the two say this was where they come. The value them. They get precious to them. They important to them too. Because you go and all us. Make any person perish. You want it. All of us come. Only Saban and Swan family. It will help you to succeed. Because you know that as you are going to see, you are going to be obstacles in the way. It will help you to succeed. Whenever you are discouraged, pray to the human God. Pray and pray until your heart is calm. And scientists and calm that make you feel afraid. And then came the passing of the bread, which symbolizes the sinless body of Jesus Christ and the wine, which represents the blood of Jesus that he poured out on behalf of sinful humans. While the bread and wine were being served, the speaker said only those who have the heavenly hope are qualified to eat and drink and said that the Spirit of God, according to Romans chapter 8, verse 15 to 17, will bear witness to qualified ones. The wine represents the blood, or means the blood, a representation, means the blood of Jesus that validates the new covenant, that makes it possible for the reaction of humans. In an interview, regional spokesperson of Jehovah's Witnesses, Don Kayawe, shared more light on the memorial. The essence, as we have been telling everyone, inviting everyone, some of the past one month or Jeribao, is to come and show our love, our appreciation for this sacrifice, one and sacrifice that covers for all mankind that is willing to avail themselves of this provision that Jehovah God has made through his son, Jesus Christ. And it is important that we really do this. And today you can see the crowd, the persons that came out to observe this memorial. And we are happy that we are able to do it again this year. Jehovah's Witnesses are known to be zealous preachers of the good news and they offer free home Bible study with interested persons. The Bible study provides an opportunity for people of all sorts to learn more about Jesus Christ and the future blessings of God's kingdom. Best Orator reporting for BTV News.